for more perspective on this match <laughs> and the significance on and off the field. Let's bring in our chief international correspondent, Keir Simmons. Clearly, what these fans are thinking about is it's win or go home. Yeah. We've got to win this one. And that's where a lot of the sports fans are focused. But there is a whole other aspect to this match. It's the political tensions. What do you see? That's right. Dada. You know, there's the debate about politics and sport, but you just can't avoid the yeah. politics in this game today. Just to say what incredible composure Tyler Adams, U.S. Yeah. team captain, showed in yeah. that press conference, which was basically hijacked by Iranian journalists. Uh -huh. Imagine being an Iranian player today. One of their star players was arrested, isn't playing in uh, the Why? tournament. It uh, was arrested because he was uh, said to have put out propaganda uh -huh. against uh, the Iranian uh -huh. government. Uh -huh. uh, so make of that uh, what you will. But, but look, you know, back in 1998, yeah. the first game between the U.S. and Iran was uh, described as the most political, politically charged game mm -hmm. in history. This has got to uh, top that. You have the protests by women in Iran. You, you have the, the nuclear mm -hmm. uh, escalation, that, that increasing tension. You have use of Iranian drones by the Russians uh, in mm -hmm. uh, Ukraine. It is a, an extraordinary backdrop. And mm -hmm. then in the end, it's a game with a ball yeah. and 22 yeah. guys yeah. on the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And the nuclear threats as well. Yeah, uh, the, exactly the, right. the, the ratchet up nuclear tensions. Yeah. I mean, Kira, and Nona made this point earlier, also, imagine being one of the Iranian players, mm -hmm. yes. one of the Iranian players yeah. right now. Exactly well. right. Yeah, exactly right. You, you know, they are going to go on that pitch. Knowing, remember, remember, there is the there is the conflict in the background. Yeah. They are going to go on that pitch with pressure on them about whether they support the Iranian government or whether they support the protesters there in Iran. Again, back in 1998, uh, the uh, supreme leader described Iran's victory over the U.S. as a victory against an arrogant opponent. Yeah. Now this time, I think it's going to be different. I think it's going to be a, a more challenging game for the Iranians. Uh, America needs to score a goal. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Simply yeah. put. Yes. Simply put by the brand. Yes. They need to get on the end of a pass and they need to put the ball in the back of the net. Okay. Well, that we, we actually needed that. Thank you. And <laughs> you, this you is bet. it. This is winner goal. Come here for United football States. analysis, for yeah. soccer yeah. analysis. I love that. All right. Here's Simmons. Here, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.